subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is hatchlack pathway or c4 cycle of the chapter photosynthesis c4 cycle or hatchlack pathway the name c4 cycle because the first stable compound formed is a four carbon compound that is oxaloacetic acid hatch and slack pathway as it was discovered by hatch and slack c4 cycle is seen in tropical plants means plants that can grow at high temperature high light intensity in hot moist conditions and even in arid or dry regions now these plants are usually the monocots like maize sugarcane sorghum also seen in some dicots like amaranthus and chinopodium now these plants have special leaf anatomy they show the leaves show crans anatomy crans mean width the name given according to the arrangement of cells in the leaves in these plants or the leaves of these plants the mesophyll is not differentiated it is usually completely palisade and surrounding vascular bundles are several layers of larger sized bundle sheet cells now these several layers of bundle sheet cells are of large size having large number of chloroplast they have thick walls and they are impervious to gases means they are impermeable to gases and they are without intercellular spaces there is no space present in between the cells so this is the vascular bundle surrounding which are the large sized bundle sheet cells which are of several layers and outer to which lie the mesophyll cells this is the structure of a leaf showing crans anatomy the mesophyll and bundle sheet cells are connected with each other by protoplasmic connections called plasmodesmata chloroplast in these leaves show dimorphism that is they are of two types the chloroplast present in the mesophyll cells are smaller in size and have well developed grana light reaction occurs in the mesophyll cells
while in bundle sheet cells the chloroplasts are of larger size no grana is present and there is plenty of starch grains C4 cycle occurs in two cells that is mesophyll and bundle sheet cells the process starts in the mesophyll cells first step is carboxylation the initial acceptor of carbon dioxide is a three carbon compound that is phosphoenol pyruvate This phosphoenol pyruvate reacts with carbon dioxide to form the first stable compound that is the four carbon compound oxaloacetic acid in the presence of enzyme phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase Oxaloacetic acid not being a very stable compound is immediately reduced to malic acid by NADPH This malic acid form is then transferred to the bundle sheet cells the process continues further in the bundle sheet cells where malic acid undergoes oxidative decarboxylation that is it reduces nadp to nadph releases carbon dioxide and itself changes into pyruvic acid this occurs in the presence of enzyme malate dehydrogenase now the carbon dioxide that is released enters the calvin cycle where sugar is formed so ultimately sugar is always formed inside the calvin cycle the pyruvic acid produced is transferred back to the mesophyll cells for regeneration of six molecules of phosphoenol pyruvate so the last step is regeneration of six molecules of phosphoenol pyruvate pyruvic acid reacts with atp to form phosphoenol pyruvate but in this process atp instead of being converted into adp changes into amp to convert the amp into atp another six molecules of atp get utilized so during the regeneration of phosphoenol pyruvate 12 molecules of atp are used now the process as it occurs in the leaves these are the bundle sheet cells and these are the mesophyll cells the process starts in mesophyll cells where carbon dioxide reacts with phosphoenol pyruvate to form oxaloacetate in the presence of enzyme phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase oxaloacetate is converted into malate which is then transferred to the bundle sheet cells where it undergoes oxidative decarboxylation that is carbon dioxide is released which enters the calvin cycle to form sugar that is then translocated through the phloem the pyruvate that is formed in the process 
is transferred back to the mesophyll cells to regenerate back phosphoenol pyruvate by utilizing ATP. So during C4 cycle, 12 plus 18, that is 30 ATP molecules are utilized. 12 for re during regeneration of phosphoenol pyruvate and 18 during the Calvin cycle. Even though 30 ATP molecules are used in C4 cycle, C4 plants are more efficient than C3 plants. As these plants can grow at high temperature and high light intensity, And they have a greater productivity than the C3 plants. That's all for today. Please do like, subscribe, comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.